With forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and 3 gigs of data for just $44.99, or with 5 gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. In the greed advertisement by Conservative Political Action Committee, the Republican State Leadership Committee, House Speaker Greg Stumbo is said to be set to receive a million-dollar pension. Six-figure salary, million-dollar retirement for life for Stumbo on you. And the but the ad has now come under fire from Stumbo's camp. Frankfurt attorney Anna Stewart Weitz wrote in a cease and desist letter to media outlets airing the ad, including East Kentucky Broadcasting, that the defamatory statements about Stumbo are wholly unsupported with reckless disregard for the truth. According to the Republican State Leadership Committee, the statements made in the advertisement are based upon the so-called Greed Bill passed by the General Assembly in 1982 and modified in 2012, both times during which Stumbo was a state representative. Trevor Stanley, an attorney for the Republican State Leadership Committee, said in a letter to EKB News that White's cease and desist letter ignores Stumbo's attorney general salary. Stanley also cites reports in the Kentucky Gazette and Owensboro Messenger Inquirer and an investigative piece by USA Today as sources for the information appearing in the Greed advertisement. White's, however, said she has no record of any state legislator ever making the amount of money Stumbo is alleged in the advertisement to be eligible to make. I don't think in my review of any of the records that we've ever had a legislator with a six-figure salary, and uh, Mr. Stumbo gave his tax statement of his legislative salary for 14 and 15. Um, they were both around 50000 which is about average for legislators. And so the false statement in the ad about a six-figure salary is made to make him look bad, make him look greedy. In fact, when you think of the amount of time these folks, men and women, pour into public service, they're not making a whole big lot. Kentucky Broadcasters Association President Henry Lackey said on the issue of White's demands that the advertisement be pulled, the decision whether to pull the greed advertisement will ultimately fall on the broadcasters themselves. He added, however, that ads such as this one are nothing new. Each individual station will have to make their mind up whether or not they want to pull those commercial ads off the air. These ads we're talking about here do not fall under anything of equal time, uh, equal opportunity, because they are not political candidates. Even though Stumble's picture is on that particular uh, advertisement, if you notice, the advertisement doesn't say, vote for his opponent. According to the Greed advertisement, Stumbo's opponent, Republican Larry Brown, did not approve nor pay for the advertisement. Reporting for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.